psychopath, the beauty of detachment. One of the major advantages of my psychopathy is my detachment from human beings. I am a hybrid, psychopath and narcissist, different from the fully-fledged narcissist, different from the fully-fledged psychopath. But nevertheless, I am able to explain to you the way that my psychopathy works as a narcissistic psychopath and how it would work for a pure psychopath also. This detachment underpins so much of what I am and what we are, what I achieve and, of course, how I see the world. There will be some of you who will admire this detachment, likely wish you could adopt it for yourselves, a buffer against the world and its awfulness. Others will be repulsed by it and thankful that you can attach and willingly do so. Whatever your view might be, it is fundamental for you to understand this perspective to enable you to gain the necessary insight into my world. When we think of navigating through life, we imagine the immense human capacity for empathy as a vital compass. However, for an individual such as I, devoid of emotional empathy, my perception of the world is vastly different. Understanding how we, with complete emotional detachment, perceive the world can shed light on our thoughts, decision-making, and interactions with others. In the realm of the psychopath with no emotional empathy, those of us with the higher executive function, it is rationality that is the dominant lens through which we see the world. Every situation is analysed and evaluated with objective reasoning, unaffected by emotional attachments and biases. Emotions are mere abstractions, and we perceive them as superfluous to our understanding of reality. We perceive emotions in others as tools to manipulate or irrational hurdles faced by those who cannot think logically. For someone with no emotional empathy, relationships are practical endeavours. By being detached, we simply see the relationship as founded on mutual benefits rather than emotional bonds. Our interactions with others revolve around logic, adaptability and personal gain. We are skilled at observing social cues and mimic emotional responses to avoid arousing suspicion or to attain certain goals. We understand that emotions can be exploited by playing the role of a concerned friend loyal partner, or supportive colleague without experiencing these emotions genuinely, but only if we choose to feign that form of attachment. In other instances, we simply watch and observe, unaffected by the need to be that concerned friend, loyal partner, or supportive colleague. Cold, distant, unattached, we observe. With emotional detachment comes a heightened ability to manipulate those around us. As individuals that are detached and lacking that emotional empathy, we view emotions as vulnerabilities to exploit. We can effortlessly analyse the emotional responses of others, identifying weaknesses and using them to our advantage. Many 
individuals with complete emotional detachment find themselves in professions like the law, medicine, management, or politics owing to their ability to manipulate dispassionately individuals and systems for our personal gain. While moral values are part of social structures, we perceive morality as a futile concept. Without any emotional mechanisms to process moral dilemmas, ethical considerations become intellectual constructs rather than deeply ingrained feelings. Our kind often, albeit not always, adhere to societal norms and moral codes to avoid social consequences, rather than from a genuine concern for others. Some of our kind with a lower cognitive function may struggle to understand the concept of affection, experiencing it as an abstraction or social obligation. Feelings of love, care, and compassion are foreign concepts, however, to us all, making it impossible for us to establish genuine corrections. We might mimic affection based on external cues using socially acceptable behaviours to fulfil societal expectations while never truly experiencing the underlying sentiments. Living a detached life devoid of emotional empathy may, in the mind of others, create an inherent sense of isolation, as they cannot comprehend or share the joys, sorrows, and intimate connections that emotions facilitate. Those that look on us believe that the world can seem hollow and distant, but that is the projection of those who are not us. Their own feelings, in relation to such a scenario, become how they believe we are, even though it is not the case. Often, our victims wish that this is what we experience, a form of revenge for dragging them into our world in the first instance. Our kind who experience this lack of empathy face challenges in understanding and relating to others. To navigate through these challenges, we often employ coping mechanisms, such as rationalizing emotions as illogical or obscure constructs. By reframing feelings as unnecessary elements of human existence, we create a cognitive buffer that can help us adapt and manage our relationships with minimal personal intensity. The degree of success by which this is done very much depends on the relative executive function of the individual concerned. All of this enables us to move through the world unaffected by its emotions and the hindering impact of feelings. We are detached, and this is where its beauty works for us, not for you, but you are not of us. It is clean, straightforward, minimal, and beautiful in its simplicity. Whilst I understand those of you who regard such a way of being as abhorrent and frightening, it is what we are, and it provides us with the means of being. To us, this detachment is a beautiful thing.